Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an invalid MS-DOS function when you're attempting to copy or delete files. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, just left click on the Start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with regedit. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry editor, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of the registry before proceeding, just in case you'd rather go back to a previous version you can. So in order to do that, you just would left click on the file tab up at the top left, left click on export. And then you want to save the file name as something that will make sense, so probably the date in which you're creating the backup would make some sense to me. Save it to a convenient location on your computer or external media source, however you want to save it, in a place you're not going to forget about it. Export range, make sure you select all and then save it. If you ever made a mistake or you wanted to go back to the previous version of the registry before we made any changes, you just would left click on the file tab and then left click on import. And you would just locate the file from there pretty straightforward. So once you've made your backup, you want to go and expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. And now you want to do the same thing for the software folder. Go down to policies and expand that one as well. Expand the Microsoft folder and go down to Windows, expand that. And then there should be a folder that says system. Just left click on the system folder one time. And now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, left click on new, and then select D Word 32 bit value. You want to call this copy file buffered sync R O N O U S, and then a capital I, lowercase o. So again, copy file buffered sync. R O N O U S and then a capital I low. So make sure the C and copy, the F and file, the B and buffered, and the S and sync are all capitalized as well as the I at the end here. It's very important you type in exactly how it appears on my screen. And I'll probably actually even include it in the description of my video as well, just so you guys know exactly what to call it here. If you want to just paste it in from my description, you're welcome to type that in that way as well, just copy and then paste it into this field, hit enter once you are done or click out of it, whatever you want to do. And now you want to double click on it. And value data, you want to just type the number one. So if it says zero in here, delete it. Type the number one. Don't spell out one, just type the number one on your keyboard. Base, make sure text to decimal, which should be by default, and then left click on OK. Restart your computer and then hopefully that will have resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.